Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanna, which it's quiet on the radar for us right now. And as we look at future tracker all night long, we're just looking at mostly clear skies and that should equate to a mainly sunny start to the day tomorrow. That said, look what happens after about two, three o'clock. We start to see a little more cloud cover rolling in. We will probably turn partly sunny later tomorrow afternoon, but overall Valentine's Day looks to be a great day to be outside with warmth around. It's a dry day, uh, a great night tomorrow night to take your love bird out on the town. Now, as we head into Friday, it looks like we're going to start out the day perhaps dry with some breaks of sun. Clouds are going to thicken slowly here from tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night into the day Friday, but on Friday morning, I do expect at least a little bit of sun for a short period of time. By Friday afternoon, we will have the chance for just a few showers. I don't think we're going to be very wet on Friday. Just a few showers here are their best chance, probably in the mountains. Then we need to turn our attention to a couple of other storm systems. We're going to have one on Saturday, another one on Sunday, and then another one as we head into next week. Let's first talk about Saturday. We're looking at this storm system mainly producing rain in areas south of Highway 460. North of Highway 460, especially north of Interstate 64 from the looks of things right now, that's where we could pick up on some snow, a light accumulation, and perhaps even a little bit of sleep. Best chance for that would be mid-morning Saturday into mid-afternoon Saturday. Then we'll get a break Saturday night. Sunday, another storm system will come through. That one is mainly rain with maybe a very short, brief mix out, say, towards the mountainous locations on Sunday. But again, mainly on Sunday, it's just rain virtually everywhere. And then as we head into Tuesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday, another storm system is heading towards us. This one bring us a potential for more wintry weather. I'm thinking right now uh, this one is probably the one that bears closest watching. Uh, I do think that uh, we could have perhaps the whole gamut of precipitation later Tuesday into Tuesday night before it's just rain on Wednesday. I will tell you that the computer models are coming in a little bit warmer with each model run looking at Tuesday into Tuesday night. So that could mean less snow and perhaps more rain could also mean less snow and a little more ice. So we'll see what happens here over the course of the next couple of days. If you want snow, this is the place to go. And it's been the place to go for at least the last 45 days. That's the Sierra Nevadas. Mammoth Mountain right now has 134 inches of snow on the ground and they're expecting to see another three to five feet of snow above 7,000 feet from now through the weekend. Two to four feet of snow possible near Lake Tahoe. They just are getting slammed with snow in the ski country of California. West wind at 23 right now in Hot Springs. West wind at 14 in Withville. You head farther east, wind's not a factor. The winds have decreased here. They're going to continue to decrease here tomorrow. We're looking at sustained winds tomorrow, roughly between around four and eight miles per hour. But you thought it was windy here early Wednesday morning. Grandfather Mountain, which is just south of the North Carolina Virginia border. 4 a.m. this morning. 121.3 mile per hour wind. That's the strongest wind gust ever reported on Grandfather Mountain, which is quite frankly very famous for their strong winds. 39 Lynchburg, 42 Roanoke, 34 Withville, 38 in Martinsville. For tonight, we are looking fair. Winds will weaken overnight lows in the 20s and lower 30s. And then for the day tomorrow, we are looking at clouds thickening a little bit later in the day. Most of the days mostly sunny or warmer. Highs in the 50s and lower 60s. Extended forecast. 60s Friday, 40s Saturday and Sunday, even into Monday. 30s Tuesday, 40s Wednesday. We talked about that chance for a little bit of wintry weather Saturday in the mountains. It's mainly rain Sunday, drying things out Monday. We we'll need to watch Tuesday closely by Wednesday. It's just rain. Temperatures on Saturday will be reaching the 40s in the morning. They may fall into the 30s Saturday afternoon.